welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline, if you don't already know, and this is the Brooklyn Knit Folk Vlogmas. I'm so excited to do this again this year and show you guys all of the Christmas New York things and just, I guess, take you around a little tour of my life for the next 25 days. Hi, Jafar. I'm in my apartment now. Um, I'm not normally like this fancy for work, but I uh, have our work Christmas party, one of them uh, this year. So I thought I would dress up a little bit wearing a Vogue dress that I made myself. Very excited and yeah. early for work and um, I want to open up my Sweet Sparrow Knits advent calendar and also one that I won on Instagram from I'm gonna put her name in here below uh, so that on Instagram so you can go find her if you're interested but yeah I was so excited to win that giveaway so I have two advent calendars to open so let's do that <laughs> Day one is called Nine Ladies Dancing. Let's see. I know she pops, yep, some other treats in here, like a bag of tea, peppermint herbal. Ooh. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's like gray and blush. This is amazing. Oh my God, I love this so much. For now, I'm gonna save the second advent calendar for when I get home, and then um, I will check in with you guys later. So for those of you who don't know, um, I live in Brooklyn in the Bay Ridge neighborhood. I lived in Williamsburg last year, uh, but moved because my roommate got married and I wanted to get my own place, so here I am. Um, I love this neighborhood. I love the restaurants, the bars, the coffee shops, you name it. It's a really, really great neighborhoody, very community like. Everybody knows each other. Yeah, it's great. I really love my new neighborhood, but I will say the one downside is that I'm considerably further away from work than I am when I lived in Williamsburg. When I lived in Williamsburg, I was like 25 minutes away from work, and now it's like 45 minutes, one way. So that kind of sucks, but trade-offs for living alone, I wouldn't trade it, it's the best. And yeah, this neighborhood is especially amazing around Christmas time. Look. So many Christmas decorations, it's amazing. I love it. I'm also super excited because today is the release day for my new sock pattern, the Irving socks. I'm so happy with how these turned out. Like, it's just, it was better than I could have, better than what I could have even imagined when I started designing them. I love them so much. So once I get to work, I will publish those to Ravelry. <laughs>
slash Gramercy Park area in Manhattan. It is a really great location actually. We're moving next year to the financial district unfortunately. We'll be in one of the world new World Trade Center buildings, World Trade 3. But for now, enjoying where we work now because the restaurants are amazing over here. Uh, we're right by Madison Square Park and so they have lots of art exhibitions in the park all the time. Um, the building I work in, 11 Madison, is gorgeous, which you'll see in just a second. But yeah, it's, I'll be sad to leave it. It's a really great area, but we have another year until that happens, so. publish my pattern this morning. I'm so nervous. I don't know why. I just always get so nervous right before a pattern publish. I don't know. It's just silly. Like what if something goes wrong or there's an error in the pattern or I, I don't know. So I'm uh, yeah on Ravelry right now about to publish the pattern. <laughs> lunch right now and for those of you who don't know I was doing the same thing last vlogmas I am I participate in this thing called meal pal I love subscription services I they just simplify my life they make it easier and I participate in this one called meal pal where you pay a certain amount of money every month and then you reserve your meal for the your lunch for the next day in advance like starting at 5 p.m. all of the restaurants will post what their meal is gonna be for lunch for the following day. And then I select whichever one I want and then go pick it up during lunchtime. So it's like really, really handy. I love it. And there's this one called, um, the restaurants only have like a finite amount of lunches that they will sell to uh, the public. So they have like, say one restaurant will only have like 20 meals or something. And so once the 20 are reserved, then nobody else can get them. So you have to be quick with like the popular restaurants. And one of them is Woody's Wood Fire Pizza. I had never heard of it prior to Meal Pal before, but it would sell out every single day. So last week I was like, okay, I need to try it just to see what all the fuss is about. And I got their Hawaiian pizza. It was so good. So today I also was like on fire last night when the meals went up at 5 p.m. to um, make sure I got
Okay, so we're it's going to <laughs> handcraft cocktails on 3rd and 26th. And then after that, it's our company's holiday party. <laughs> Vlogmas is to the Vlogmas right, newbies. I know. Yeah. Newbies. What? Vlogmas? No, what? not Vlogmas. What? That's a whole different channel that we don't do here, okay? <laughs> I just left the company holiday party and that was super fun, but I'm ready to go home. It's been quite a long week, so headed back home to Bay Ridge, gonna get on the train and go chill at home. I just got home and the second half of my fabric.com order arrived so I'm super excited about that. I got 19 yards of batting, here let me show you, <laughs> for quilt mania that I'm in the middle of right now. Look at this giant roll of batting. And I ordered a lot of like border fabrics and backing fabrics and stuff like that so let me show you what I got. Well. I guess it's the perils of online ordering. This print is giant. Here's my hand for scale. Um, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but I still think it'll be okay as a border fabric, even if it's like cut in half. I think it'll be fine. Atmospheric. And then I ordered some of this to try to match something that I got for a um, different quilt, and the blue is a lot different than the one I already have, but we'll see, we'll make it work. And then this is just like a, natural for Julie's quilt and this will be perfect so all in all very happy with these purchases it's just it's cheap to order online from fabric.com but it's difficult to match things you already have that's for sure like the drape of this even this is so much heavier than quilting cotton is so we'll see it'll work not exactly what I had in mind but it will do the job and then the last thing that I get to open today is the advent calendar that I won on Instagram from Celine. Ah, so exciting. Honestly, like this, this giveaway, like this prize could not have come in a better time in my life. I just, I was so excited to win this. So let's find number one and let's sit right here aha, aha, and see what's in it. How pretty is this? Oh a mini skein or I guess a mini ball of yarn. It's like a light blue that has speckles of dark blue and purple in it. So pretty. This will be perfect for my granny stripe blanket. Hi Jafar. Hi sweet babies. I have two kitties by the way in case you didn't know. This is Jafar and this is Mika. Hi. She's very chatty. Like super chatty. So it's actually pretty early here. It is 9.43.
So I'm probably just gonna watch the Vlogmas videos from day one of um, everyone that I subscribe to on YouTube. I'm so excited for um, Molly of a Homespun Houses, Stacy of Stress Knits. I saw that Katie from Inside Number 23 and Ellie from Skein Deer Knits are doing it. Like so many of my favorite podcasters are doing Vlogmas this year. And I'm so excited because I just love seeing these little like snippets into daily life of people from around the world. So that's just really exciting to me. So, oh my gosh, influx of text messages. So I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to watch some Vlogmas and that's probably it for tonight. So I will see you in the morning. Bye.